All right, guys, today, whoa, 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 social distancing. <laughs> Neighbors, today, we're gonna walk it out. No, 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 not outside. Doubly okay, walk it up. I was thinking one of these veggie dishes that I tried in both in Thailand and in Vietnam. And when I was in the US, I never saw it at restaurants. You know, it was always just the more common like Pad Thai or Pad Siu. But this simple stir fried morning glory, it just works with any dish. Shout out to Katie's brother and Katie's sister here for buying us the latest cuckoo. Actually, in Korea, it's cuckoo. Uh oh, uh oh, he's speaking to us. Chisa! Alright, let's start off with some edumacation. This dish in Thai is called Bat Bak Bung. What? Bat Bung? What? Say again? Bat Bak Bung. That's right. If you take a look at the stalk, it's hollowed out. Oh my gosh, is there like a train passing by us? Alright guys, sorry for the noise. All aboard. Look at it and go to your Asian market and grab a bunch like this. Today we're going to use one large handful. Give this a nice wash. Uh, you know what this reminds me of? Um, if you go to sauna in Finland, I think Sweden as well, you have this little bouquet of like herbal plant. You can hit yourself over the back with it and then you get like a faint smell of um, this herbal scent. After you're done with the sauna, bring it back out, line them up a little bit. For the stem parts, about the length of your pinky. Another pinky. And one more chop. And now we enter the leafy section here. I like to use my pointer finger. All right. And then keep the two separate. This part is gonna cook a lot faster than the stem, so I like to put this part in first. So we're gonna use six cloves of garlic. I'm gonna just chop off the ends here. I'm using two dried peppercinos. These little suckers, they're very hot. On the other hand, if you're using Thai bird's eye chili peppers, the fresh ones, they're not as hot, so I would use around three of them. Just give this a brief chop. And then to get the party started, we have to mash them together, do a little icebreaker. So I got the most advanced pesto and mortar right here. We'll put them in. All right, everything is swell. You didn't think it would work, huh? It does. And here we're just trying to break the garlic up, let it infuse with that chili. I like some of the pieces bigger. You'll stir fry them, they'll get nice and crispy on top. Eat it with the, the greens, and it's amazing. We need to use some fermented soybean paste, and Thailand has their own version. It looks like this. But rest assured, we can get similar, if not identical flavor with Korean soybean paste. Don't use the really artisanal ones that are like very stinky, like some of the ones we sell on Gochujar. Use one of the cheaper, more common tenjang that you just see at every Korean mart, something like this. You see it's very smooth. It's not that kuzuan, what do you call it? Like that stinky. One tablespoon in. For our Japanese friends, you can also use uh, miso paste. That'll work uh, as well. Thai soybean paste, it's very runny. And to get a similar texture, we're gonna mix that with one tablespoon of mirim, which is rice wine. Put that two together. All right, let's mix that up. It comes out looking very close to that Thai soybean paste. And if you bought the Thai yellow soybean paste, use one and a half tablespoons, and the rest of the steps, let's do it together. Then my friends, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, then about a half tablespoon of soy sauce, and then a half tablespoon of sugar. We need to cut through some of that. All right, mix it up. Give it a little bit of a taste. It's nice. Then I'm gonna prepare a little cup of water on the side because you might want a little bit of sauce on the bottom. Not too much, and adding a little water does that trick. Oh my gosh. Five minutes. It's almost coming to the station, guys. All right, let's get this on a high heat. We're gonna put around three or four tablespoons of cooking oil. That way we get the garlic nice and sizzly. We'll get the garlic pieces in. Very nice. Mix that around. Ooh and you're gonna smell that in the air. And then we're gonna add in our garlic stem. Move that around. All right, and very important, we're gonna use half a tablespoon of soy sauce and spread it across the rim. That way it gets a little bit of fire. And stir fry it around for around 30 seconds. Beautiful. That's because we wanna get the stems nice and cooked first. They're a lot thicker than the leaves. Guys, we're gonna add in the leaves. 
our sauce. Get that in there. These guys are going to start wilting. Wow. Add a tad bit of water. Good. My friend, 10 to 20 seconds, and that is it. A little bit of sauce at the bottom. Guys, we're done. Let's plate this up. Doesn't this remind you of Thailand? <laughs> wow. wow. Beautiful, right? And we just got a little bit of sauce. Ooh, and those garlic bits. I gotta stop saying that. I don't know when I grabbed that habit of ooh. Wow, guys, beautiful. Let's go. Thinly sliced pork butt on the side. Of course, if you're vegetarian, you can skip this. Put a little bit of oil, onions in. Thin cuts of pork butt. These will unravel once they're in. Nice. Put the whole thing on. Nice. Then I'm gonna throw in some pre-made Korean Jeyuk spicy sauce. Mix this up. Perfect. And woo, that's it my friend. That's our main. Yeah, <laughs> I keep forgetting. All right. Some fresh rice, of course, with this morning glory. I'm so hungry. Katie, how hungry are you? So hungry. Look at this shot, it's beautiful. I concur. <laughs> Perfectly cooked. And then you got like those slightly cooked garlic pieces that are nice and crispy and caramelized. I'm telling you guys, when I was in Thailand and in Vietnam, we always ordered a side of stir-fried morning glory. Daniel, let's dive in. All right. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, look at that. Put it on the rice. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. But... Amazing. Is perfectly seasoned and that tenjang it works perfectly. Coupled with the side of this, oh, it's so nice. And so nice. This? Yeah. Bon appetit. This may become your favorite new dish, vegetable dish, regular dish, any dish. Mm.